find this is a grafted tree. Okay, mm -hmm. it's been grafted down here, mm -hmm. and it's a grafted tree. Okay. You plant this late winter, mm -hmm. early spring, right? Mm -hmm. And it's planted. You've got all your trees planted in your land, and they all look like this. You've got them like this from the nursery, ideal. Okay, maybe not as thick and maybe a little, a little bit less high. And then you see signs of growth. Then, after you've planted them, you wait. Okay, I'm going to have no voice tomorrow. Then you wait. <laughs> then you wait until you see signs of growth. Guess what I see here? Signs of growth. Okay, then you go and you say, what trunk height do I want? Mm. 60 centimeters, and you'll head it at 60. Mm. Heading, this is heading. Mm. Okay, you'll head it off. All right, if that has got no lead, you preferably you want some leaves down here. No problem. Okay, if the lateral shoots growing here, you'll remove them. Okay, and if you're scared, you're going to get sun damage painted with light paint. Then you'll get a strong first flush coming out. You have like three or four. Let that flush become mature. And then you just remove the terminal bud. Call it the terminal bud. Only the bud. Remember, this is valuable factory. I don't want it to take any factory. I want to minimize my take of factory. A lot of people say, oh, close branching in mango is bad. It's absolutely not bad. Remember, mango trees are not an apple tree. It's not a peach tree. Sure, in those two crops, if the branches are terribly close, they tend to snap off and things like that. But this is a mango is different. It doesn't do that. So don't regard a mango tree as being that. So close branching in mango is not an issue. In fact, most branching points will always be close anyway. Okay. All right, I'm not going to do anything to the tree. I'm going to do that more if I No, I don't want to go for the east. I'm going to this tree right Yeah. The problem now, I would rather have a grafted tree coming out of a nursery like this. Okay, now you're going to graft it now. Now you're going to graft it. You're going to graft it up here. What do you should do? Okay, listen to me now. I'm going to cut your tree. You're going to put one of 60 centimeter trunks. Yes. You're going to take me. Anybody get anything at 60 centimeters high? Project you just... Look at that, look at that, look at that. 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 Your measurement of 60 centimeters. Okay, we're gonna head. We're gonna head off at 60 now. Okay. Now, what? Because this tree is not grafted, now you create complication for yourself. These lateral shoots are gonna come out here, and then you're gonna have to graft like four of them. Okay, then you'll graft four of them. Okay, or three of them, whatever. And then they'll have to flush, and then you can tip them from then on and develop the graft. Paint this now. This is now exposed to the sun. You want to protect it. Well, what guys do sometimes? They get sleeves. They get like a cardboard sleeve and they just put it over the whole thing. That's nice and effective. Okay. Let's go to... For oh, the tipping. Like so Which okay. chemical we use for this tipping? You don't have to do anything. Just the, that thing will seal itself off with sap. Okay. Oh. Tipping. This is, I can't demonstrate tipping on this shoot. Yes. It doesn't have a terminal bud. We need okay. to see... Well, right. Okay, and then I, it's grafted. Okay, I don't want branching. I want a 60 centimeter tight trunk. I'm cutting there off at 60. Okay, it doesn't matter where it's at 60. Okay, that's what I will do. Again, you've got to have to. These shoots are going to come out, and you're going to have to graft them. Okay, let's cut another tree. 